What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod tutorial for you. Uh, this block spotlight is the induction smelter from Thermal Expansion. So let's learn something new. What's going on guys? Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. And today we're doing the induction smelter from Thermal Expansion here. And we gotta know how to craft it. That's like the most important thing first is you got to know what you got to do to make it. I guess that and you got to know what it is before you want to make it. But yeah, let's let's get into this. Let's check out what that recipe is going to be. And right here, it starts off at top with a bucket, a machine frame like all other thermal expansion needs, an invar. You need two gears, two invar ingots, and of course this takes redstone flux, so you need a redstone reception coil. So yeah. Not too challenging, but uh, the invar is a little bit. You gotta you gotta smelt some things together, guys. <laughs> um, so, just like every uh, other thermal expansion mod, it needs energy. Of course, I really liked it last time with that cryo fluid duct. Like it just looks really cool. Um, but yeah, this is the induction smelter. Uh, it has a internal storage capacity of 120,000 RF. It does need more power than some of the other ones. It needs 40 RF per tick to function. And the reason why is because it's supposed to be super hot to smelt and give you some advanced stuff. So it smelts metals and things that require high temperatures. It's useful for processing ores and building advanced devices. The left slot can only be locked, or the left slot can be locked to only contain certain items like this lock flux duct or flux slot. And will absolutely not cook food. It'll burn it. That's essentially what it is. So just like all other thermal expansion blocks, it does come with the standard three augmentations, automatic transfer out, redstone control, and you can configure the sides. So I just have the redstone, of course, in the disabled mode. Of course, it's going to rain again. So I got the intake on top. Again, uh, you got your primary, your secondary, and if I turned it all to orange, then we it's just a combined ship everything out into the chest. Out of, out of the pipe and into this chest here where I made some electrum ingots. Uh, let me just go ahead and turn that rain off real quick. It never fails, guys. It just, oh, brother. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can make electrum with it, the invar, the signalum, uh, bronze. Uh, gosh, what is that, the mana one? I believe that's the mana infused and then the enderium ingot. Uh, so let's go ahead and see some of this in action. So, of course, nothing burns there, but boom. You put that guy on look at that if you listen it even sounds like it's doing something so it lit up of course it's doing something now it's gonna put out two ingots if you can tell there's two there it's gonna put it right in our nice beautiful clear looking chest and that's gonna be the enderium ingot right there so that's what it can do of course those are very advanced ingots but uh, they make some really awesome stuff guys um, so if you get a chance you got to play the mod pack it's quickly craft uh, so let's go ahead and showcase if we were to do this one this is how we're gonna get electrum notice how it's much faster it's it's just different different stuff burns at different you know uh, rates and things like that it depends thermal expansion uh, I'll have a link in the wiki down below it'll give you some more information on it if not Google as always is a good friend for that look at that now we have 12 of those bad boys so that's just some of them I believe there's a couple more that you can use uh, to make with the induction smelter but that's just some I know off the top of my head and uh, yeah from playing this this awesome awesome mod um, yeah with the induction smelter you can definitely automate stuff have stuff pipe in um, and automate your processing but it's also the same thing as like the alloy smelter from Ender IO which is what I'm using on my um, quickly craft series right now if you've been watching that one if you haven't you need to be uh, you need to check that out it's actually pretty cool I really enjoy the mod pack it's on a public server completely available for free uh, you just gotta download the mod pack and join uh, the IP everything's on the Technic launcher um, but yeah, this is the induction smelter from Thermal Expansion. Um, it's a fancy, fancy smelter. But it does allow you to advance uh, your craft and get more advanced structures within Thermal Expansion's mod and other various mods that do go hand in hand with it. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has and you enjoyed it, smash that like button, guys. That would mean so much to me. 
Uh, share it with your friends and family. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know you want me to keep making some tutorials for you. And uh, yeah, I hope it's been helpful, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Whoops.